Call to order Town of Prescott Valley regular town council meeting December 10th, 2020. Uh, welcome everyone. Just so everyone knows what the plan is tonight. We're going to go do a little bit of business and then uh, we welcome everyone at the end of this evening. Just stick around. We've got some treats in the back um, and you can congratulate and talk to our incoming as well as our outgoing council members. So uh, just so you guys all know what's going to happen. And at this time, I'd like to welcome Chaplain Dan Brodick, Chaplain Fellowship Ministries, to do our invocation. Sir, come on down. Thank you, Mayor. Before I pray, I'd just like to um, tell you it's been several months since I, I had the privilege of speaking here before, and I want to let you know that my wife and I are just as thrilled to be part of this community as we were when we first moved here about a year and a half ago. So thank you for the privilege. Before uh, I pray, I just want to read quickly a, a short Bible verse. This is from the Old Testament, Jeremiah 29, 11. That's a famous and well-known verse, and boy, do we need to hear this today. And the Lord says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for our many blessings. It's so easy to take them for granted and to be distracted by everything that's going on around us. Lord, we pray for your wisdom it's amazing to me that in both the Old and the New Testaments, you tell us that our source of wisdom and good judgment comes from our relationship with you. So, Lord, we pray for the strengthening of that relationship. Lord, we pray for wisdom for our town council and safety. Lord, we pray for wisdom for all our first responders, our medical people. Lord, there is uh, much business to do for our town. And, Lord, uh, we ask you to help us to see that as business for people. Lord, you love us, and we thank you for your love. Lord, we lift these prayers up to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Sir, will you please lead us in the pledge? Absolutely. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, sir. Clerk, please call the roll. Councilmember Grossman could not make it tonight. Councilmember Hunt. I believe she's she on telephone. Me. She can hear me, yes. Councilmember Hunt. Councilmember Packard? Present. Councilmember Schumacher? Here. Councilmember Anderson? Here for the last time. Uh, Vice Mayor Nine? Excited and delighted to be here. Mayor Palguda? Present. We have a quorum. And I believe we have Councilwoman Hunt on the line. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Awesome. Okay. And uh, Councilman Grossman just wasn't able to make it due to unforeseen circumstances, but I'm pretty sure knowing Councilman Grossman, he is uh, probably watching us at home. So, Absolutely. With that being said, folks, we're going to move right into consent agenda. All matters listed under consent agenda are considered routine by the town council and will be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items. If discussion is desired, that item will be removed from the consent agenda and will be considered separately for discussion and possible action. And just for the record, Council, I'd just like you to know that 5K, as in King, um, staff does recommend approval on that. It just doesn't show it in the staff notes. So, uh, clerk, just please put that down for that. And with that being said, if there's any other items we wish to pull or discuss, if not, I'll entertain a motion. I'd like to make an emotion to accept all of the above. I'll second. Clerk, call the vote. Councilmember Hunt, can you hear me? Yes. And your vote is yes? Yes. Okay. Councilmember Packard? Yes. Councilmember Schumacher? Yes. Councilmember Anderson? Yes. Mayor Pulguda? Yes. Vice Mayor Nye? Yes. That passes, Mayor. Thank you, ma'am. So at this time, I'm going to turn the reins over to our town manager, Larry Tarkowski, and I'm going to invite Councilman 
Anderson and Vice Mayor Nye to down to the, the floor. Okay, Mayor and Council and, and audience, uh, one thing that, uh, that many people don't know or appreciate is the fact that uh, the small amount of compensation that uh, any of our elected officials get, uh, when you figure out the amount of time that they have to dedicate to the job of being your elected official, your public servant, if you do the math on it, they're making about 10 cents an hour. <laughs> and so I, I really can feel confident that with our elected officials, none of them have been overpaid for the work they do. And so with that, I would really like to thank uh, uh, Councilman Rick Anderson and uh, Laura Lee Nye, uh, two personal friends, for all of the years and hours of dedication. Uh, I really do appreciate your wisdom, your strength, your resolve, and your ability to continue moving this community forward. Putting aside ego, putting aside minor differences, you have been able to work in a, a council environment that was very inclusive, very coherent. Uh, and speaking on behalf of the staff of this town, I would like to say thank you. Thank you very much. And I, I count you both as friends, and thank you. I know that Richard Parker, and this is dangerous, Richard wanted to say a few things, and so did uh, uh, Ryan Judy. Well, I know that uh, you guys are going to be around, so I'll be knocking on your door periodically, and I know how to find you. And uh, I really do appreciate Marty and all that he's done for the community as well. I want to take you back to probably some of the toughest times uh, we worked together, and that was during the Great Recession. Uh, I remember watching you guys toil over business decisions about who we, who we were going to fund and how much and where we were going to cut necessary to make the budget balance. Those were really tough times. But the best part of, of that was watching you guys make the decision that made sure that no uh, staff per, uh, person received a RIF. You kept um, focused on the fact that these people all have lives and you were able to find it in your heart to be able to maintain that and save people's jobs. Uh, my office was pretty much decimated as part of that recession because my favorite uh, contractor and um, developer, Joe Contadino, was the only person who submitted a building permit in December of that uh, turmoil, one building permit. So needless to say, we had to relocate people to other places. Uh, some of my group went to the courts. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Some went to public works. That's even worse. <laughs> some came to the library. But uh, I really very much enjoyed it and celebrated with the staff that I supervise the fact that we all came back together at some point in time. But that's because of your leadership. The easy choice and other communities did this. They just right-sized the, the staff overnight, and they issued rifts. Our community, someplace uh, to the west of us, did just that. 40 people lost their jobs. So I very much respect how you went through that process, and if there's anything I can ever do for you folks, you need only call. Mayor, council members, I'll echo what Richard has said. Uh, there were a lot of uh, cuts back in that time, and Richard wanted to go over to the police department, but they wouldn't give him a gun and a badge, so <laughs> we didn't make that move. I do want to thank you for your service, Laura Lee. You were on the council when I got here in 2004, so that shows you how long you've been serving our community. And Rick and Marty, who's watching, you joined us a few years into my tenure here. I'm always amazed at how people from very different backgrounds can come together to make this community go forward and be one. And you guys have done an excellent job, so thank you.
We're going to start what we normally do with council members. Councilwoman Hunt, can you start us off? Councilwoman Hunt? We'll just move on. Maybe we'll bring her back. Councilwoman Schumacher? I just think of what a legacy you have left this community, and I just want to tell you both, thank you for being such a great mentor as the new people have come in. We have you to follow in your footsteps, and um, you've set such a great example that we all hope we live up to everything that you've given us. So I'll let Lori in. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Go for it. Okay. Well, I've known both of you a while, even prior to getting elected. I think Rick, or Laura Lee, probably more than Rick, and it's just been an honor and a privilege to serve with both of you. you you've taught us all something, and we will continue to learn, as I understand, because it's people like you in this community that make this community. Your, your devotion, your, the way you are here every meeting and participating in everything in the town, it is, it's, it's an honor and a privilege to have known you, and I'm still going to know you, by the way. So <laughs> carry on. <laughs> I believe Councilman Packard, he said it, said it perfectly. Um, if there was a Mount Rushmore on Glassford Hill, there is no doubt that you two, along with Councilman Grossman, would be up there. You've done mm -hmm. tremendous leaps and bounds for the town of Prescott Valley. You made Prescott Valley a better place. Having you seated to my left and to my right have made me a better mayor. I appreciate that. And I know the citizens of Prescott Valley appreciate everything that you guys have done. And uh, words can't express how important you have been to Prescott Valley. So thank you. <laughs> We're going to try this again. Councilman Hunt, can you hear us? Yes. All right, you're up. Hey, um, can you hear me? Yes. Hi, guys. Congratulations. Um, I am so proud to have served a year and a little bit more with you. Um, I wish you the best and happy trails. I agree with the mayor's comments that if we had a Mount Rushmore and Gosford Hill, you three would be there. And um, I just wish you health and wealth and happiness and faith and family and love. Nicely said, Councilwoman. Thank you. Vice Mayor, you're up. All day I've been worried about keeping my composure. <laughs> so I decided what I wanted to do was tell you a couple of fun things about what it was like my first year in 003 as a councilwoman. We fired our manager. <laughs> now I'm freaking, right? We, uh, we called our mayor and vice mayor. How would you like to start that way, all of you out there about getting ready to be sworn in? Well, here's where I'm going with that. The wonderful council members that I've been privileged to serve with have provided a stability that many other communities wish they had. And it's a gift that we're passing on to you. And there is one strong hint I'm gonna beg you to follow. We always knew how important it was to work together even when we couldn't agree and still be calm and patient and we were never, ever allowed politics to come into it. This was always a nonpartisan council and quite frankly, it's one of the strengths we have. This community is a gift. And how lucky am I to be able to hand it over to these delightful people out there. 
and I'll be here. Anyone that wants to learn from me or has a question of me, I'll be here. You're not going to be hanging out newbies without somebody to put some thoughts and ideas up. And we're going to love you, and we're going to support you. And I want to thank that couple right there. They are so faithful in attendance to this meeting. And they have uplifted me in ways they don't even know. And many other members of our community are the same way. I'm humbled, and I thank you. already had the opportunity to thank the staff and I'll continue to do that because I'm not leaving either but I want to take the opportunity tonight to thank the community because for the past 12 years I've had the privilege of living in one of the greatest communities I've known in my life and I only hope that the people in this community will support and continue to support this council the way they've supported the council for the last 12 years that I've been here. It's so important that even if you don't agree, you come down here and tell us because we have no way of knowing if we're doing a good job unless you let us know that we're doing a good job or that you let us know when you're not happy with the things we do. That's very important to us. You have to keep us honest and you've always done that. And I appreciate that. And I know the new people will appreciate it too. I know they'll do a good job because this isn't about one person or about three people or about seven people. This is about a community. And you've always done a great job for us. And I thank you so much for that. Thank you. At this time, I'll bring Judge Carson down, as well as our new council members elect for the next few moments. Councilman Kinzinger, Hepperly, Dickinson, and just so everyone knows, Councilwoman Hunt will be uh, sworn in next week. All right, let's have the three of you. Now you can give yourself a little spacing. All right, all right, let me have you step Back one step there, good. All right, it's my pleasure to be able to swear you in to your new job. So let me have each of you raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name, do solemnly swear. I'm Randy Dickinson, do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution and laws of the state of Arizona and that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same and, 
and defend them against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of the office of town council member According to the best of my ability, so help me God. Congratulations to all three of you. Get to go quite yet, all right? You guys got to come, grab your seats. We've got a little bit of work to do and finish up the evening. Folks, at this time, we're going to do uh, comments from the public. Consideration and discussion of general unscheduled comments from the public. Those wishing to address the council need not request permission in advance. Any such remarks shall be addressed to the council as a whole and not to any member thereof. Such remarks shall be limited to three minutes unless additional time is granted by the mayor. At the conclusion of the unscheduled comments, individual members of the council may respond to the item addressed at the discretion of the mayor, or they may ask the town manager to review the matter or ask that the matter be placed on a future agenda. So at this time, folks, you have uh, the floor. Is there anyone that would like to come down? Comments, questions? No? Um, well, then at this time, I'm going to let uh, our, our newly elected council folks say uh, a few words if they would like to at this time. You're not required to. I would just like to thank everybody for having the confidence of uh, supporting me during the campaign. And I will strive to continue to earn your trust and confidence over the next four years. Thank you again. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Councilwoman. I would like to thank everybody for being here this evening, coming down in the rain and uh, making plans ahead of time to be here in this, this difficult time with the COVID. We have so many people that are sick including Marty and Lori, and we're, we miss them. We want them to know that this evening, and we're just uh, so thrilled to be here. We worked hard. We hope, and I hope, that I will be able to do the job that you expect of me and that God will bless us during this uh, term. And uh, um, I'm open to listening and available to for any comments that you have, and um, I just want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you. <laughs> Councilwoman. Can I use my time to say something about Laura Lee? You absolutely can. You can use your time to say about anybody you want. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so um, thank you, and thank you for being here, and thank you for uh, having faith in me. And. Um, I will not let you down. But for Laura Lee, I just, I only just recently got to get to know her, um, but we did spend a weekend together up in Tucson for a NACOG event, dr you know, driving up there and back. And so I really, really got to know her, e even in just a short amount of time. And she is amazing. I'm going to, now I'm going to have a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she, I'm just, I mean, she's, she just, she just is. I mean, for a woman of any age, um, but just the amount of experience that she has brought to to the dais and to the town, and and I'm so happy that she's still going to be here, continuing to to mentor me for one, for sure, um, and anyone else who is um, interested in that. But yeah, I'm just um, I'm very thankful for Laura Lee and and everything that she has done and will continue to do for the town. So thank you, ma'am. Thank you. And now we move on to number nine, which is not always number nine, but it's always an important one. And we need to have a motion to adjourn. So council. I make a motion to adjourn. Now we'll need a second. I second it. Call the vote. Council member Kinsinger. Yes. Council member Schumacher. Yes. Council member Packard. Yes. Mayor Plagoda. Yes. Council member Hepperly. Yes. Council member Dickinson. Yes. The passes, Mayor. Thank you, ma'am. Folks, again, thanks for coming out. Welcome to the new council.